Hey friends, how are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing so, so well. And here is the mad rush to get into the bins as soon as they opened at 9 a.m. If you don't know, the bins are also called the Goodwill Outlet. That's their formal name. And basically there's tons and tons of clothes in these outlets, which are getting rid of excess inventory, getting rid of excess donations from regular Goodwills. So you can see me here at my bins, they don't take things out of bags. And so there's always a mad rush where everybody grabs as many bags as they can and then stuffs them in their cart. And then if you don't get a bag, then sometimes there's like nothing to go through. So this is me trying to film while carrying like three bags in my hands and trying to get a cart. So I was able to get some bags. This is the only round I was able to do so, but I love going here. I love the thrill of the hunt, the treasure hunt that is like digging in a pile of clothing. I think it's so fun. And so you'll see me doing this. I literally got there at nine in the morning and I didn't leave until I think like four. So I was there for over six hours digging through bins. It's definitely a long day of thrifting, but I'm always able to find a full cart full of just treasures, things I can resell online, things I can use for my family. So this is one of my bags from the beginning. And look at that. And those are actually an ultra pair of shoes. And so I also found this Eileen Fisher in one of those bags. The bags were really uh, treating me well compared to everything else I was finding while I was there. Oh, that's my pile. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> You're fine. If I don't want it, I'll give it to you though. <laughs> And so not everything in the bags were worth picking up, but I did find a good cartload full of things that were amazing in those bags that I grabbed at the beginning, including some things you're gonna see in the haul. And I was trying on this little blazer for myself. I thought it was really cute. And I didn't actually watch back my footage. I just felt like, oh, this probably isn't that cute on. And now looking back, I'm like, dang, this really looked kind of cute on me. So I'm kind of regretting not picking this up. But again, where would I wear it? Where would I use it? That is the question I, I must ask myself. So this is me just, you know, pulling my cart everywhere with me, trying to look in the bins. So there's hard goods and clothing and they're separated. So these are the hard good bins. I usually spend more time in the clothes, but man, when I saw this, that was a throwback for me. Mary Kay and Ashley, it was my jam in the 2000s, in the 90s and uh, holiday in the sun, yes please. If I was not moving across the country right now, I would have taken that home just for nostalgia's sake. But I had some self-restraint, so I'm proud of myself. But yeah, I usually don't spend a ton of time in the hard goods unless I'm looking at like shoes or unless I'm finding books or things like that. Sometimes there's clothes in the hard goods too, so. But these are kind of what the bins look like. My bins, this one at least, this one at least is really full. And this may look not very crazy, but I'm glad I got a clip of us all like literally running in and everybody getting shouted out not to run because that's what the majority of the time in the bins looks like. This, this is very chill. And um, this is where it's easiest to film, where I don't have to worry about, you know, getting 20 billion people in the back and getting shoved and trying to hold everything. So this is much more chill than it normally is. This is like at the end of a round. And then we also have all these amazing books. And man, boy, do I wish I could spend more time looking in the book section because all the books I think are like 50 cents or something like that. And there's just so many goodies in there. And I've found so many amazing books in the past and I'm an avid reader. And so I also know a lot of people make a lot of good money from reselling books. And that's something that I need to probably look more into, learn more about. If you guys know a lot about books, let me know. I did find these two and I pulled them aside because I'd already checked out and I was gonna grab them the next time I went back in for a round and somebody else grabbed them. So sad. But this is my first haul of the day. I'm heading back to the car. They kick us out after every round. And this time I spent $43.73 and I'll show you what I got when we get home. Okay friends, we are back home. And I literally felt like I had the jackpot at the bins today. I really found a ton of things. And so I have them all on the rack here behind me. It has been a hot minute since we've done a rack video, which is very exciting for me. I finally have made enough room in my filming room where I can film it in again. <laughs> so that's great. In total, I spent $95 today at the bins. I was there for like the whole day. I got there when it opened at 9 a.m. and I left, I think around like four or five-ish. And so I had done about four different rounds at the bins, the Goodwill Outlet, you pay per pound per your items. 
and you also at least at my goodwill outlet they flip the entire store multiple times per day where they will wheel out all of the bins and then wheel in new bins full of items but you have to leave the store every time they do that so you have to check out multiple times so after doing that i spent 95 dollars and i got 68 items so we have 68 items a lot of pieces of clothing and then i have tons of shoes to show you guys as well so then my cost per item was one dollar and forty cents so all of these items you're going to see each pair of shoes is going to be a dollar and 40 cents each piece of clothing and then i also found some things for us as well like the sweatshirt that i'm wearing today this vintage softball sweatshirt i got in the bins that day too and i really like it too because it says 94.95 on the back it's definitely a very vintage piece and i actually was born in 1995 so this was a really cool pickup for myself and i also played softball for 12 years so we're gonna jump into the haul. All of these pieces I'm gonna be showing you guys today are things that I picked up to resell online on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari. And so $1.40 per item. With no further ado, let's jump into see what I got for super cheap at the Goodwill Outlet. So let's start off with a real winner. This is such a cute sweater. I was so excited. Usually when I find one good piece, I will look through the rest of the bin for like minutes trying to find more, but this was the only piece like this in this bin. And this is from Wilfred Free. So Wilfred Free is sold at Aritzia. Wilfred is a really good line from Aritzia. And I've sold it quite a few times. This one says, yarn made in Italy, a size extra, extra small. I'm wondering if this is supposed to be like a tunic length or a dress length, but it feels really nice. I checked it for holes, there are none. And it's also 100% wool. So Aritzia tends to do pretty well for me. I've sold a couple different pairs of wool pants from Aritzia from Wilfred. I think I sold each one for around 80 bucks. So for this sweater, I'm gonna hope for around at least 50 and maybe a little bit more, but super cute. And this is a great brand to know, Wilfred. So that's a very exciting first find of the day. And you know what would be a very exciting second brand in the video? Jenko. Isn't this so, so very exciting? This is actually a brand I've talked about quite a few times recently in my brand videos and in my denim guide as well. Jenko is a really sought after brand. It's kind of more of a streetwear line, a little bit more grungy, and a lot of them are vintage. So I found a pair of shorts this time. The only other time I've ever found this brand, I found a pair of full pants, full jeans, and those sold for me within, I think, 30 minutes for $150. So now this is a pair of shorts, but I found them inside out, which is probably why I was the one that picked them up. But I feel like anybody, if they would have seen this graphic on the back, probably would have grabbed them. This is an embroidered blue eight ball and then this skull going on. Not my normal vibes of what I like to wear or pick up, but I know this brand has great resale value. So this is what the inside looks like. Jenko jeans, really cool, really good logo, really nice pair of jeans. And these are in a size 33. And we also have a style number on these as well. But this patch on the back, like this really cool embroidery is really gonna sell these jeans. It's actually like a double layer pocket too, which is really cool. So I'm expecting these to sell between 75 and $100 is my guess. They're really sought after. This is a great brand to know. And I got these for a dollar and 40 cents from digging in the bins. And then this is a very exciting find. So I did not actually find this. I bought this from somebody else at the bins this day. Um, so this actually cost me $10 and maybe I shouldn't have spent this, but I really wanted to show you guys this because he did find this in the bins and this is a Bape shirt and Bape is a really good brand to resell. I have never found it. This is actually, I think maybe a line from them. It's Ape, but with two A's. So it's a little bit different. I don't think this is going to be worth as much as like a Bape piece which is by a bathing ape and so this is in a size medium but I did grab it I do feel like it is authentic I looked at it really well I didn't find any flaws and I did pay ten dollars for it mostly to show you guys I'm expecting this not to resell for tons of money but I did think it was probably worth it maybe I'll make 35 to 50 bucks from this I'm not quite sure but this is a great piece, a great brand to be made aware of. And you can find things like this in the bins. This same bins location I have found Balenciaga, Gucci, Burberry, Christian Dior, Versace. Like you just need to spend time looking in the bins because there's so much good stuff to find. Now this was a style based pickup. And I just think this is so freaking cute. This is very priggery, like cottage core vibes. It's this amazing quilted jacket. And these were like all the rage a few months ago, maybe a year ago. I love 
this piece so much. I'm pretty sure this is handmade because, or homemade I should say, because I don't see a tag anywhere on this. And it does kind of scream it, <laughs> to me at least. We have some toggles and it is just so cute. I would say looking at this, it's probably a size extra large. I'm very tempted to keep this for myself, but I do think I'm gonna sell it. Isn't that so beautiful? I absolutely love quilting. I think it's so cool. This was definitely done with a sewing machine, and it looks amazing. So I think for this, I can probably get around 50 bucks and I just love it. I think it's so cute. And then we have one of my favorite bread and butter brands to resell, which is Eileen Fisher. This is a gorgeous orange sweater and I love the weave on this. It's really nice and light. There's the Eileen Fisher tag. Eileen Fisher Woman does really well for me. That's their plus size line from Eileen Fisher. This is in a size 2X, which is an amazing size. And I'm fairly confident this has something nice in it. And this is actually 100% wool. So anything from her that has really nice fabric content usually does really well for me. This is a really flattering v-neck, orange, size 2X. I'm expecting this to go for around 50 bucks. And I think it should do really well even in summer because of how lightweight it is. Like you can see me through it. It's very nice. Now you guys know I had to pick up some vintage pieces in the bins. Some things that I needed to, you know, take a chance on. This first one is so cool. It is a vintage kind of like Letterman sweater. It's the best way I could know how to describe it. It has this giant C on it. And it's definitely, definitely vintage. It's from the brand Hanson. But look at that tag, it just kind of screams vintage to me. Dry clean only, 100% virgin wool. No size on it, but also on the C down here, we have a little pin for some sort of sorority or fraternity. So I think that's really cool. This definitely has a very strong preppy vibe to it and I just think it's amazing. So I picked that up and I probably will be able to resell this for around 50 bucks. And I think it's really cool. It's a really unique piece. And the last time I had something that was kind of more varsity inspired vintage like this. It sold for I think like $65 in a couple minutes. So we'll see how this one does. And let me show you guys a few pairs of the shoes I got. This is the first pair I picked up. Very excited about these. A little pair of Tory Burch wedges. They're not in perfect condition, but for being in the bins, I will take it. A dollar and 40 cents for these. These are a nice pair of brown leather wedges. They have this mark on this side, which is why I think that they were donated and nobody else grabbed them. I think that's not super, it's not a super big deal breaker to me. And I'm gonna see if I can get that out. I don't know if I will be able to, but you know, it's worth a try. The bottoms still have some wear left to them. They have some wear there on the ball of the foot, but I still think for $1.40, I mean, I'm gonna pick them up. <laughs> and so hopefully I can resell these for around maybe 40 bucks. I usually would be able to get a lot more for Tory Burch, but these ones have a little bit of condition issues, but still, Tory Burch in the bins, heck yeah. And then this is a brand I didn't know, and I wanted to share it with you guys because this has great comps. This is something you should know. So this is a really cool pair of sneakers. And at first I didn't know what the brand was because all it said on the inside was you can surf later. But look at the side here. These are a pair of P448 sneakers. And these are very similar to kind of the vibes of Golden Goose in my opinion. Like they are purposefully distressed when you buy them. And so at first I was thinking maybe these were just in kind of rough condition, but I don't think they are. I think they're intentionally made to look distressed from the beginning. So with wear, they're just gonna get more and more distressed, which is actually like what they want, which is very interesting. So this is what they look like from the side. But I grabbed these in a shoe bin and put them back and then went back and got them later because they felt nice and then looking them up, they actually have great comps, especially when I looked on Poshmark. I looked on eBay and they weren't as high on eBay, but on Poshmark, all of these shoes like that were similar to these were reselling for between pretty much 50 and 100 bucks, which is amazing. <laughs> um, if you found a pair that was new with tags, they were selling for over $100. So I just thought that was crazy and not a brand I've ever heard of. So I wanted to share it. We have P448 on the little tongue as well. And at first I thought the brand might be You Can Surf Later because it says that so often on these, but it is P448. These are in a European size 37, which I believe is around a US size seven for women, maybe an eight, but really cool pair of shoes. I love the green leather on the back. We have suede up on the toes. And I think I can get around $50 plus for these, which is 
amazing. I love picking up anything in the bins for a $50 profit. That's awesome. Then next up we have this jacket, which is, which is kind of like a soft shell jacket. It's in black and this is actually from BMW, which for, for a car brand does really, really well. BMW in a size extra, extra large. This I've actually sold a similar jacket to before. I actually did a direct sale with a viewer, so thank you. But I believe last time I sold this, just direct to a consumer, I sold it for 50 bucks. So I was looking at comps on Poshmark, eBay. It's a great size. I think this will go for at least another 50 bucks, which is absolutely amazing. It's a really sought after brand for BMW users. And this is a really nice piece. And hopefully even though it is summer right now, it'll go quickly. Okay, then we have this little Lulu's dress. This is something that maybe I went back and forth on a little bit. For $1.40, I think it'll be worth it. It is a little ribbed black dress and it has an off the shoulder kind of fold over top. And this is from Lulu's in a size small. But I like selling Lulu's. This is an older tag from them, which is another reason why I went back and forth. It's not really a popular style right now. So maybe I shouldn't have picked this up. But Lulu's in general does perform pretty well for me. It's usually good for like about 20 bucks. This I'm probably gonna be able to sell around 15, but I still picked it up. I probably shouldn't have because we are in the process of moving. So I'm trying to get through a lot of these clothes that I've bought for videos, but I think hopefully we can still make 10 bucks at the end of the day. And then we have these two jackets. So these are really cute. This one's a very nice burgundy color. And then this one is a dark green. They're both long line jackets, really cute. And they're both from Calvin Klein both in a size 14W as well. So really pretty colors, really well-made pieces. I don't always pick up Calvin Klein. I just don't think that it's, um, you know, worth the hype as some other brands, but I do think that these are really nice. And they're jackets, they're really well-made, they're tailored, they're in a great size, really cute colors. So I decided to pick those up and I'm expecting probably a, maybe around 35 for both each one I should say. So hopefully we'll get like maybe, you know, 70 for the pair. Okay, then we have two pairs of pants, both in a very kind of similar green color, one a little lighter than the other. This pair is from Chico's, it's in a size one and a half, but I actually looked these up in the store and I saw that they were doing pretty well. They're just a pull on pair of green khaki-ish pants. They're really nice, they're lightweight. I think they're gonna be good for summer and winter and fall, like all the seasons for sure. So I looked at comps and they were selling for around 25 to 35 bucks. So I picked that up for $1.40. And then we begin the um, tons of pieces I picked up from one particular donation bag. People at my Goodwill outlet, they will always run in the Goodwill because a lot of the things that come to my Goodwill outlet are all donations. So bags are fresh, they've not been sorted, so that's where you can find some really good things. So I had one bag that I was able to grab like the whole day I was there, everybody else took all of them, but I was able to grab this bag and I found so many good pieces that a lot of the haul is gonna come from this bag actually. So the next bit is all gonna be from the same donation bag and this is the start of it. I got so many good shoes and I actually also got lots of pairs of Bombas for myself from that bag and smart wool socks. Wow, that was really not stretchy enough to do that, but Bombas are amazing socks. Smart wool makes amazing socks and I'm keeping all those for myself because she has the same shoe size as me. So it was a very exciting bag personally. This is one of the first things that was in that bag that I grabbed. It's a really cool pair of zip off Columbia pants. They have the zip off to make them into shorts. They're really cute and I think that they're actually pretty cool. And then these are in a size medium. I grabbed these because the comps looked pretty good. Like I still think I can make maybe 25 to 35 bucks from these. They're in really good condition. And again, almost everything in that bag I ended up grabbing. This was the next thing in that bag. It was a swimsuit, size 12. It's just a really pretty color and it's from Speedo. So I know Speedo makes great swimsuits. It has ruching on the sides and then it's a great size at a size 12. So I picked that up. Maybe we'll make 20 bucks from that. And then we have this really pretty little top. It's a ruched side tank top in pink, but it's from Sundance and I love selling Sundance. It's a great seller for me. It's in a size medium. I wish that this was maybe a dress from Sundance that would definitely probably perform better, but it is a really cute ruched side tank top and it was so cheap. I decided to pick it up, maybe 20 bucks for that. I'll just tell you when we're done with the things from the same bag. This was also part of that. And it is such a cool little like active wear dress, 
really fun kind of pattern color scheme and this is from Title IX which I've only picked up once before. It usually gets marked up at my thrift stores. Title IX in a size medium. It's an active wear dress. I think this will probably resell for around $35. Built-in bra. Super nice if you play tennis or anything else like that kind of realm. So I grabbed her. And then we had this really pretty dress. I did not tie the strap around it. So imagine that also with a tie, but it's like a wrap style top with this floral print. It's from BB Dakota. And BB Dakota is kind of hit or miss for me. It is sold at Revolve and it's also sold at other places too. That's the problem. So BB Dakota doesn't always sell for tons of money, but I did think this was a really pretty dress for spring and summer. And it's in a size six. I decided to grab it in the bins for $1.40. I think I can sell it for 25 bucks. And I love the color scheme. And then we have a brand I would normally not ever pick up. It's Charter Club. I believe this is one of those like brands that's sold at Kohl's macy's jc penny things that i usually try to avoid but this is a really cute sweater it is vibrant pink it has this ruffle it's an open cardigan there's no buttons or anything on the front but the reason i grabbed this it was in that bag but it's also 100 percent cashmere so it's a cashmere sweater super pretty i love the color of this and even though it's not a typical brand i pick up if something is cashmere i think that pretty much across the board it will sell so size large brand doesn't matter so much if it's cashmere and this is a really cute style so i grabbed her and i expect her to sell for around 50 dollars. and then we have this really cute champagne colored little tank top it's a little difficult to see because of the shine to it but this is an anthropology piece so this is from moulinette sewers which is a really nice brand from anthropology this brand in particular does really well for me and i do find them to be kind of more like a luxe style you can even tell that from the tag it's a gorgeous little like you know split detail on the back and this is in a size small super pretty I love this. I think it should do well. Even though it's a tank top, I do expect this to still sell for maybe $35. And I bet I can find you a stock photo of this for sure. It's just a polyester, but it does feel very silky and is very on trend. So again, hopefully we make some good money from that one. And then I think this is the last piece of clothing I picked up from the same bag. This is another really soft sweater. We have that gathering at the wrist, really fluffy brown. And this is from Garnet Hill. Garnet Hill in a size medium, really nice piece. And this is also 100% cashmere. So again, Garnet Hill, sometimes I would pass on it, but again, for 100% cashmere in the bins, we're gonna pick it up. Probably around another 40, 50 bucks for this piece. I think it's really nice. And again, no holes, which is lovely. So then I already mentioned, I got some really nice socks, like expensive socks. Bombas go for 10 bucks for a pair of socks. And I love Bombas and I have some and I've paid good money for them. So I was excited to find some more pairs in my size. She also had really good shoes. So let's show you some of those. This is the first pair I grabbed from that bag. It's a pair of Ultras, A-L-T-R-A. -A. They're hiking shoes. And these ones actually have some tread on the bottom. So they're cleats, but I believe that these are maybe for like running hiking. I could be wrong or just hiking in general. They're really nice shoes and Ultra can sell for around 50 bucks for a hiking shoe. So I picked those up for sure. And then I was really personally excited about this. I'm not gonna keep them. They are in my size though. This lady and I had very similar shoe sizes. These are a pair of wedges in that bag. So cute. Very nice pair of Vionics, which is really exciting. These are in the Cancun style. So with that style name, I should be able to find stock photos. They're in excellent condition, like super cute for summer. I think they're gonna do really well. We have that ankle strap, size nine. I think at least 50 bucks for those. And then that woman really spent good money on her socks. I actually picked up this from that as well. And this is from the brand Richer Poorer which I had not heard of, but I think this is also sold at Revolve. These are knee-high socks, like over-the-knee socks, textured, and I looked up comps, and these resell for around, like, 25 bucks for a pair of socks, which is crazy, but these are a U.S. size 5 to 10. They just ended up never trying them. Oh, these came in a FabFitFun box. Interesting. So maybe they won't be worth as much, but I still think they might be worth some good money. And then we have one of the most exciting finds from the bag, 
which is this pair of shoes. They're a pair of wedges made with leather with this little lace up at the front. Very interesting. But these are from Fly London, which is a great brand to resell. I've had great luck reselling it. They usually have resold for me around $50, $65. They're really nice shoes and they have some great tread here on the bottom as well. And these are in a size 39, which I believe is a size nine. It would make sense because all of her other shoes were a size nine, but I just thought these were really fun for summer. I think these will do really well. So really excited for $1.40 guys. I think 50, 65 bucks, awesome. Okay, now we're gonna kick us into high gear because I have so many more things to show you and I wanna get through it all, so let's do this. Also, if you're liking the video, like and subscribe. It would mean so much to me. And you know, any video I put out is a lot of work and I do it three times a week. So show me some support. I would absolutely love to have a like and a subscribe. Okay, we have a little Harley Davidson graphic tee. It's a long sleeve red purple shirt. Really cool, it's from Harley Davidson in a size large. So a women's size large, we do have some bedazzlement on the front. And then we have the Seminole Harley Davidson in Sanford, Florida on the back. So for this, I'm expecting probably like 25, 35 bucks. And then we have this really cool vintage Levi Strauss denim jacket with some patches, which is really interesting. I do feel like they added these themselves. They did not come like this. And so that probably won't make it worth as much. Like this Black Belt Club, I'm feeling Kempo Karate. Is this from the Karate Kid? I'm not quite sure. Then we also have two stars on the lapels. Really cool denim jacket. I think I can resell this for around $50, $65. And this is in a size 46L. I think that this is vintage based off of this tag. And somebody else looked at this at the bins with me and said that they dated it, or if they were dating it, they would date it to around the 70s based on the tags, which is interesting to me. I don't know how you can do so. Um, but yeah, it's a size 46L, and I think that I can probably get some good money for this, even though it has some wear to it, some discoloration. It is old, and it's really cool. And then we have this vintage Pendleton jacket. It's a really cool style. I like the blue and green plaid. We have some interesting velvet up here. It's in a size 18, which is a major reason why I picked it up. Size 18 and it's 85% wool. It has shoulder pads. It's a cool style. I think for this, I can probably get close to 50 bucks. Pendleton sells really well. I don't find it often. So I'm excited to experiment a little bit with it. And then we have a Melissa McCarthy collab with Seven Jeans. And these have these embroidered flowers on it, some distressing. I looked up comps and these jeans were selling pretty frequently for around 50 bucks, which I was like, okay, I'll take that. These are a skinny jean, they're in a size eight. So grab those, hopefully at least 40 bucks would be great. And then we have this amazing sweater and it is 87% alpaca, 13% nylon, and it's from Free People, which I just thought was, well, I thought it was cute to begin with. And then I looked at that content and I was like, oh, this is expensive. So this is like kind of like a boat neck to it, cropped white sweater with that alpaca in it. It feels very luxe really nice piece and this is the tag it's in a size extra small at first i thought it might be shrunk but i do think it makes sense if it's size extra small free people runs pretty large but this looks maybe like a medium to me just cropped so i think that i should be able to get 35 bucks for that hopefully and then we have this amazing little sweatshirt jacket kind of thing <laughs> it has buttons for the front this amazing horse print on it. It's in a size extra large from Art Unlimited. And I just thought this was so cute. I love the horses on it. I think it's really unique. If nothing else, I'll wear it. But I think I can probably resell this for around 35 bucks. It's super cool. And then we have this gorgeous number, which is from Victoria's Secret. And it's gold label, which I find to do a lot better than regular Victoria's Secret. The vintage gold label from Victoria's Secret tends to do really well. It's in a medium slash large this really silky kind of nightgown but then it has sheer green sleeves I think that's so fun so I think this I can probably resell I'll probably list it around 50 bucks and then sell it closer to 40 but it's absolutely beautiful and I think this would actually be cute if you unbuttoned it and just wore it as an outfit it's so nice I love it 
Walker, guys. I could just tell from seeing it in the bins. I was like, if that's not Barefoot Dreams, then I am not Rebecca Allison. <laughs> like, I knew it. It's in a size 2X, and it is a really nice long cardigan with those patch pockets on the front. It's really nice. It could be used as a robe, to be honest. It's very soft, very lush, very plush, and a Barefoot Dreams sells pretty well for me. So for a size 2X Barefoot Dreams, I think I can probably resell this for around 50 bucks because it is plus size and long. Some of the short pieces I usually sell for around 35. So I think that that one should do well. And then we have a mountain graphic tee. The mountain makes these very interesting shirts and a lot of them do really well for me actually. This one's in a size medium and I would say that this will probably resell for around 25 bucks. But if you're in the bins, I'll pick it up. I wouldn't pay very much for this at a regular thrift store but in the bins, of course, I'll pick it up. <laughs> okay, then I have some more shoes. This is a pair of vintage like Y2K brown leather Skechers. They're a suede, really, really cool looking. These are very popular right now. Imagine these with like some, you know, little socks on the top that have a ruffle. They're in a size seven and a half. I think that's a women's size seven and a half. I'll have to double check, but I do think I can resell these for around 50 bucks. So pleased with those. And then we have these Vans, but I knew these were special. I don't pick up a lot of Vans personally, but I saw this writing on the side. And then on the inside underneath Vans, it says Parks Project. Now Parks Project is a great brand. They have very expensive items. And so when I saw that this was a collab piece, I knew that they were probably worth picking up more so even than normal. They have some wear at the toes, just some discoloration. I'm hopeful that I can wash these and get it out. But comps for these, I think I can sell these for around probably like 40 bucks, maybe 50 for a pair of Vans. I think that's great. There are nine men's or 10 and a half women's. I haven't seen a lot of this particular color up for sale. So I think these should do pretty well. Again, I'm going to try to get some of this discoloration off, but really fun. For in the bins, I feel like I hit a lot of great shoes. Let me know what you guys think down below. <laughs> okay, then we have an L.L. Bean vest. I really enjoy selling LL Bean, especially the pieces they have with their little patch logo. I find them to do pretty similar to Patagonia, to be honest. And this one's in a size large, so great size. I'll do some fabric shaving on this around the armpit area, but size large in a navy blue color with the patch little logo on the front, kind of like a Patagonia vest. I think they should do pretty well, probably I would say 35, 40 bucks for that pretty nice. Then we have another little Pendleton piece. I think this is really cute with the contrast black around the edging. It is from Pendleton and I don't think this one is vintage but it's in a size petite medium. I just thought this was really nice. A very like well-made piece. Hopefully I can get 15 bucks for that. I don't know. I've never sold a Pendleton tank top before but I think I could probably get around 10, 15. And then I picked this up on the way out actually. I just saw it sitting in a bin and I thought this was really cute. Look at this little like white chunky sweater with this pink going across and it's also in the neck. This is from the brand Lumiere in a size small. And this is a brand that sold in Anthropology. So I picked up this little Anthropology sweater and I probably will be able to sell it for around $35. I'll probably list around 40 to 50 and then hope to make 35. It's really cute though. And then we have this pair of Adriana Goldschmied jeans. Again, for in the bins, Adriana Goldschmied sells pretty well for me, usually for around like 35, 40 bucks. These are the legging super skinny fit in black. So I thought these would do pretty well. And they're in a size 30 regular. So I don't know if these are men's or women's. I feel like they could go either way. So I'll have to figure that out. But I still thought for $1.40 worth it. And then I have this pair of little flared faux leather pants. I thought these were really cute. They're kind of small, but they are from a brand I've sold before, and that is Addicted. Now, apparently, these were like a TikTok famous pair of pants, so the comps for these are actually really good. I was seeing them selling for around 50 bucks for a pair of faux leather pants from this brand. They're in a size extra small. I believe this is a fast fashion brand, so I don't endorse them, but picking them up secondhand, I'm not too upset about. These are a pretty cool pair of pants and I think I should make some good money. So I grabbed those. And then we have two little skirts here. This first one is from Zara and it's in a size medium. So I grabbed this. I just thought it was kind of cute with the little floral design on it. I don't think I'll make very much from this. Maybe just like 10 or 15 bucks, but I did think it was really cute. So I grabbed her. 
And then this one I thought was really pretty too. This is a vintage Liz wear, so Liz Claiborne skirt. It's in a size petite six and it's 63% linen. So it's this really fun kind of like A-line linen skirt, vintage with all these flowers on it. I thought this was really cute. And so I decided to pick that up. I think I can probably resell that for around 20 bucks is my guess. And again, I spent $95 on everything. So hopefully just with some of the shoes, like maybe just even the P448s, I think I can maybe make back all of the money I spent. Love that. Then I found another Calvin Klein piece. And again, I don't normally pick up a lot of Calvin Klein, but this was a puffer coat. Puffers do really well on the whole. It's from Calvin Klein. We have this kind of like snake skin print interior that kind of leads me to believe this probably is actually reversible. That's my guess from looking at that because there are zipper pockets on the inside too. Interesting, I bet it is, it is, it's in the pocket. It's in a size large from Calvin Klein. That's super interesting. Great to know. So the other side is a puffer with snake skin print. I bet that's actually sought after. I think I can sell this for at least 50 bucks. That's my guess, especially after seeing that. <laughs> I think I can do it. So let's show you guys what the other side looks like. So then this is the snake skin print side. I think it's very interesting. It's pretty cool. I think for $1.40 it was definitely worth it and probably at least 50 bucks on that. And then I have this little vintage Disney long sleeve tee I found. It has Goofy embroidered on the collar. I thought that was really cute. It's a vintage from the Disney store. There's the Disney store logo. And then this is in a size large. I love selling vintage Disney. It just makes my heart happy. I probably won't be able to sell this for more than 20 bucks, but I still thought it was really cute. And Goofy is so cool, so. And now we only have two more pieces, this one and a bag. So we have another puffer coat. And this is a really nice red puffer coat. And this is from Kenneth Cole which can do pretty well. It's a nice menswear brand. I don't normally pick it up unless I'm in the bins, but for a puffer, an outerwear piece, it's more substantial, size medium. I think I can probably resell this for around 50 bucks as well. Just puffers in general can do really great. And then the very last thing is this little kind of weirdly shaped backpack. I like it. And it has these removable little zipper straps. So you can do it one shoulder or you can wear it as a little backpack. And then the only logo on this I could find while in the bins was on the zipper itself. So it's a little bagolini. Bagolini can do pretty well. I saw comps for this exact bag selling for around 35 to 50 bucks. So for a little bag that I got on the bins, I will say yes for sure. So then you zip it and then this piece is magnetic on the outside. I think it's cute. So I grabbed that and hopefully that accessory and all the shoes will do amazing, all the clothes will move fast, that's the hope. So yeah, that was my bins haul, $95 for all of that. We have 68 pieces, including all the things you saw today, and then I got some, you know, socks for myself, and I also got this sweatshirt you're seeing, and I also got a t-shirt, like, you'll see things in the coming weeks, and I'll tell you guys if they were came from the bins, but I love thrifting like this. I think it's so much fun to find these pieces that the next step is a landfill, or inundating another country with tons and tons of cheaply made clothing and rooting their ecosystem on making clothes. I find this to be really relevant and really important work. And so thank you guys so much for supporting that work that I do here and for supporting me. I love you guys so much. Let me know down below which piece was your favorite. Give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And until the next video, bye.